guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make these amazing pancakes. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button and press the subscribe. Enjoy! Also for the full recipe, check out my blog down below. So you will need 200 grams of self-raising flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and one tablespoon full of caster sugar. And then in here, I've got three eggs, 25 grams of melted butter, and 200 ml of milk. Now you make a well in your flour and pour in your wet ingredients. Now it's time to cook your pancakes. You'll need your pan, some butter, a plate to put your pancakes, and I put some kitchen roll on here so if it's a bit greasy, a, um, a spatula, your batter, and a ladle. So turn the stove on and add the butter. The butter is ready when it starts to become frothy, then you can add your batter. To tell when the pancake is ready to flip, look for these bigger bubbles to start to form and pop. Otherwise, you can leave it for one to two minutes on each side. When you flip your pancake, the heat will activate the baking powder and you'll see your pancake start to rise. Cook your pancakes until all the batter is used up. Okay, now we've got all our pancakes made. It's time to plate them. I'm going to get my imperfect pancakes. And get out everything that you want to put on your pancakes. I'm going with peanut butter in the middle and honey all on top. This is where you get to be creative about what you want. There's so many things you can put on pancakes. I'm just spreading my peanut butter in between the pancakes. It's gonna taste so good. Another one on top. And more peanut butter. If you have lemons, lemon and sugar is amazing on pancakes. My next pancake. And now I've got my three pancakes. It's time for honey. <laughs> Ta da! You can have whatever you like on your pancake, like strawberries and cream or bacon and maple syrup. Check out my blog for more ideas. And these are my pancakes! Thanks for watching! Be sure to like and subscribe!